Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mina Maggie and today I am going to be doing a small review. First off, I did go to Ulta last night and I picked up some new things, just um, three things. First of all, I do want to say I picked up the Maybelline Lemonade Craze Palette. This was on um, sale at Ulta where things were the entire Maybelline brand was buy one get one half off. So I did end up getting this foundation for around $8. However, I was at Walmart this morning and they have this on sale for $9. So that is something you just want to keep in mind when you're out shopping. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump on into the video. Now I'm sure you guys have seen my face routine before so I am going to skip ahead on to just applying the foundation and then after that I am going to jump right in to the eyeshadow palettes that I purchased. Okay so this is the Maybelline New York 24 hour foundation. Um, this is the Superstay full coverage. So we'll go ahead and test out if this really is full coverage or not. As you can see, I do have some acne scars here. So if that gets covered up, this will be a win-win. It does have the really nice pump here. I do like that for sanitary reasons. Now, let's hope this is the right shade for me as well. As you know, in Ulta, you can't really swatch and color match like you can in Sephora. This might be a pretty okay match compared to my shoulders. So I am going to take my damp beauty blender and go ahead and So, so far this does seem to be a pretty good match for me. Um, it's a little off, but I'll just sit out in the sun for a couple more days. <laughs> um, as you can tell right off the back, that acne scar right here is still visible. However, it is pretty full coverage. I'm not feeling like sticky or oily or anything like that. I am going to put a tad bit more just right over that acne scar just to see if it's buildable at all. Okay, definitely buildable. I can see it in my mirror over here, but I really can't see it, I mean maybe a tiny bit in the viewfinder, but okay Maybelline, I see you. Alright, I am going to go ahead and put the rest of my face on and I will be right back to check in with you guys. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and jump into eyeshadow finally. <clears throat> I am going to start off by taking my big blending brush and starting with the shade Sherbert. I'm going to go ahead and put that all over my lids. I really wish this had a mirror. Oh well. I'm going to zoom you in a tiny, tiny bit. Also, if you hear all the noise, it's my dog. Ooh, Fallout Central. Okay. I'm taking. 
taking a, another fluffy brush and I'm going in the shade Sweet Tea and blending this all above my crease. Next step, I'm just going to be taking a slightly smaller fluffy brush and taking the even slightly darker brown shade Old Fashioned and I'm going to put that in my crease. Also, real quick, I do want to talk about how much fallout there is on this palette. That is not something that I get upset about, but it is something that I would have liked to know about. I hate it when my my palettes get super messy. I am gonna go ahead now and take this very small angled brush and go in on the. Let's go ahead and just do this pink shade right here. It's called Ice Pop. I am gonna go ahead and put this in my crease and then I am going to. Take some of my eyeshadow primer and do a cut crease. That's not the right brush. Okay, I've actually decided to go against the cut crease. Um, I am just going to go ahead, take a flat brush, and cover my lids with the shade Strawberry Lemonade, which I swatched for you earlier. I am taking this Coral, pink, coral Punch shade and putting it right in my under eye does match the strawberry lemonade shade perfectly for it, but as a matte. Alright you guys, I am just going to go ahead and finish up my face and I will be right back. Alright you guys, this is the finished product. I am absolutely in love with this palette. Keep in mind though, check around before you actually purchase it because different places have different prices for this as I found out the hard way. 10 out of 10, out of 10 would recommend this. And to jump on back to a foundation, it doesn't seem to be creasing anywhere. It is still wearing pretty well and it hasn't oxidized in any places or anything like that all right you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel i'm going to be trying to post more videos at least once a week if not more and i hope you guys stick around and check them out all right see you guys then bye